hi and welcome back to the channel today i'll be doing my md's video i've used these up in the last couple of months whatever i will be repurchasing i'm going to be mentioning that and it's going to be a long video so make sure you have something to eat or drink if not go right now so that we can quickly get started i think we should quickly start with sunscreen because i also posted a shots on this very recently so this should not take a lot of time i have so total i have like six sunscreen md sunscreens are something that i go through a lot because the first one is the watermelon cooling sunscreen the pink one and the vitamin c super bright sunscreen one is a really really watery sunscreen initially i did like it because i hadn't used anything like this earlier but i will say it's a little bit hard to blend so not a repurchase for me and then i tried this and this completely replaced the yellow one emptied this long bag but i will still recommend it till date if anybody asks me which dot and free sunscreen is the best i think it's the pink one because it has a gel cream consistency love how this blends into the skin and i think this is very good for all skin types way back it's the doctor shared vitamin c and ceramide sunscreen i really really enjoy using this sunscreen a lot this, this one has a little bit of a thick creamy consistency but it's very easy to blend and i will recommend this for dry skin people because it is very very hydrating and moisturizing on my skin almost skip moisturizer when i whenever i use this so i have enjoyed this something that i quite didn't like out of all the sunscreens is this one this is a plum rice water and nice cement sun i still used it up because i had to finish it it's, it's not my favorite it has a good texture something about the settle down of this i cannot decide whether it gives a matte finish or a dewy finish not a repurchase for me again and something that was my quickest empty i think i emptied this within a month the biocules vitamin c aja the ever ever glow reading serum you know i've talked i've spoken about this empty like i have used this religiously and i really really enjoyed using it and now i've been using this the common soothing variant i have the toner and the serum the toner you can tell i have used it up very very quickly as this one has a watery texture this one i like to take in a cotton pad and just use as toner pads i really like the feeling because this one is very very calming and soothing on your skin ingredients like central asiatica this one is mostly for dry to sensitive skin which is why it worked very well for me love their serums this one is again a very very good one of pairing these two and they just work very nice for my skin it's the perfect kind of hydration my skin needs the calm soothing serum the texture of this one is like a light gel consistency it also has ingredients like sika aloe vera green tea if you have sensitive skin this will really calm your skin down and soothe the inflammation their serum is something that i really really enjoy using something that i absolutely love loved through and through again this is the face skin spf juice i feel like i'm not blending this sunscreen because this just melts on my skin it has a very nice texture very very lightweight texture the finish is not matte not dewy it's right in between i think it's really underrated also love the packaging it comes in a pump packaging last sunscreen empty is this aquologica detan dewy sunscreen this is the most recent one that i have emptied out of the lot my favorite has to be the yellow one for my skin type this one is great for normal to oily skin people because this is very very lightweight it does not give you a dewy and a glowy finish it gives you like a natural finish but i still enjoyed using this let's quickly move forward i have a lot of skincare empties obviously that i have is the cosrx snail advance power essence this was like my second bottle and i've completely used it up and if you ask me if i'll if i'll repurchase it i have a backup already i have not started using it i have not been using it religiously there was a time where i've emptied two bottles where i use it religiously i like to have a backup of it with me every time every time my skin needs this is just this is just one of those products that i like to have it with me every time in my stash next i have the clinique moisture so as you can see the name also has been rubbed off i've used it a lot and hardly anything is left texture of it now this is a gel based moisturizer moisturizer but i think this is the one gel based moisturizer that i find very very hydrating this has worked for my dry skin this one actually feels very very nice on the skin it is a very good moisturizer but if you don't have the money to spend on it you don't have to i do get kind of bored of using it so this is definitely not something that i would buy again maybe at least for now and then we have the solar genera boom boom cream bam bam cream boom boom cream i think it's called boom boom genera boom boom cream it's not my favorite i will say i do like it i do like it and i see why people like it i like it too but i don't think so i'm going to buy it again first of all i don't think it's 
very very hydrating for it to be body cream in terms of the smell the plum one does a similar job for me next we're going to do cleansers this one is a foxtail daily do it hydrating cleanser a very very good gentle cleanser makes my face very very clean like like a foaming cleanser but very very gentle i don't know why people don't talk about it they should be talked about a lot after i finish a few of my cleansers i'm gonna buy this again i have this foaming cleanser from coench um this is again something many bohat pehle khatam kiya tha but no i don't really like foaming cleansers for my skin for my dry sensitive skin i've tried many many foaming cleansers and i do like the idea of how it foams up and it looks really nice not for me so no now let's talk about three serum empties shall we from dot and key already made a video on all of the serums in detail this is a vitamin c one we have the water drench hyaluronic acid and then this one even the sika one emptied it i was getting breakouts on my forehead because of that time of the month so i started using this again and now i think i'm going to finish it i think ek do use hai i still like to keep it when my skin is behaving that way i have this thing we should continue with the serums um the first one is the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum now when i compare this with the l'oreal hyaluronic acid serum this one definitely has a thicker consistency it's kind of reminds me of the cosrx nail mucin texture wise it's kind of thick and it's very very hydrating obviously and it has taken me so long to finish this if you're looking for a good hyaluronic acid serum that has a little bit of a thicker texture you will really enjoy using this next i have the simple 5% booster serum something that i used religiously so i could empty this this one in one go because this serum don't even have product to show you but this one is a very nice lightweight ceramide based serum simple never disappoints so i'm not surprised and i have a few of makeup remover the plum hemp cleansing oil very very good very very good affordable cleansing oil if you're looking for something affordable this is a great one only fault that i can find in this product is the packaging this is not even the actual issue if if you travel with it if you take it with you somewhere it's going to spill a lot and this has happened to me once or twice and there was a lot of product wastage so i'm going to buy this just for the formula but i just wish they improve the packaging then my beloved bioderma micellar water i have two bottles of this already as a backup again another product that i would like to always have it with me in my stash keep purchasing this forever my moisturizer and these i have three um the first one is the first one is from face skin again is the daily dip moisturizer i have completely soup scooped out every product so this has hyaluronic acid sika and ceramide really kept my skin moisturized i felt like my skin was drenched in moisture then this one was a surprise that i liked it so much the hyphen barrier care cream this is a dry skin variant this one also took me a long time to finish this has ceramides peptides so the minute i put it on my skin i blend it my skin screams that glow it gives me that glow it is a very very good hydrating moisturizer but it is also lightweight does not feel too heavy on the skin it has a little bit of fragrance which is not too much again my beloved dot and key ceramide and hyaluronic skin barrier face cream it must be my second few actually top definitely buying it again during the winters right now i'm not actually using this because this one is a very good thick moisturizer what a moisturizer stunning last two skin care products i promise then we are done with skin care laneige cream skin refiner this has stayed with me this has stayed me through the years and i always like to have backups of this it's not something that i reach out to every single day a product that i like to have in my stash always this one is supposed to be a moisturizer and a toner which i agree who didn't like this one maybe you like the new formula because this one is much much lightweight than this one a product that took me forever to empty this is the laneige lip sleeping mask berries ki halat dekh lo pehle this took me more than a year i think almost two years to finish this and this is not even the big one it's the smaller tub maybe i'll not buy the lip sleeping mask but i do have the glowy lip balm just because the packaging makes it a lot easier for me to use and finally i'll repurchase again oh my throat old lip balm skin care product it's the road peptide lip treatment now i have a lot to say about this i i feel like my experience with this has been like a roller coaster it's a very thick lip treatment but depending on your weather conditions how long this has been with you you may agree you may not agree but this does turn grainy and mine has turned all grainy i've been using this 
every single day religiously just because i want to finish this up and just get done with it so if you want to put your money and get this it's all your decision but i wouldn't get this again actually the lip treatment i don't know about how the lip tints are but the lip treatment we have a few body care empties the nivea avocado body lotion still i still prefer the original blue dark blue bottle nivea lotion body lotion i've tried the light blue bottle i've tried this and i do not find it hydrating for my body it smells really good but god i have to sit there and blend it forever so not buying this again dove shower mousse this is again my second bottle and this is a coconut variant i keep this whenever i have to shape my body yes definitely buying this again it's affordable so good shaving has never been easier and this coconut variant is probably my favorite then i have the plums shower gel in hawaiian rumba i think one or two uses left out of this love the fragrance of this one but again took me a very 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 long time to finish this again at least for now i won't be buying this again one of my holy grail body care products it's a chemistry at play underarm roll on I have the fragrance free version. This one has worked for me. This will be a repurchase. One hair care empty. It's the Be Blunt Hot Shot Hair Protection Hair Mist. Um, I love this product a lot. See, I blow dry my hair, so I use it for that. It smells good. It does not weigh my hair down. It comes with a spray packaging. Yes, I need a restock of this. Only have two perfume empties with me this time. Actually, my perfume is up. Ada 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 hai. Lum body loving orchid. You not. There was a time in my life. when i was when i was obsessed with this and this is the only scent that i was wearing ah oh, very nostalgic now if you do not like fresh fresh floral sweet scents you won't like it i know people who do not like it also bought the body mist a long time back just to get the edp then the body mist it smell a bit better i don't know why i have another scent it's the plum body loving again it's from plum it is their smoking vanilla Again, there was a time. I this is the only scent that I was wearing, and I still like to have backups of it. So I have this. So I have another one. I have one more which is not open yet. It's not your regular vanilla. It's just sweet, a little bit sexy vanilla. Not as sexy as the Kerala vanilla. Oh, you know how hard and how long it takes to empty out scents and perfumes. That's the same with makeup. And I have still. I'm very proud that I have quite. I have emptied out three concealers with me which does make sense because concealers are the only kind of base makeup product that I use on an everyday basis I could never empty out any kind of foundation the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer used it up more than I used it the applicator has used this product but it's a good medium to full coverage concealer but the finish is not my favorite i know this is so many people's favorite but this one it looks a little bit crusty on my under my eyes i have the fit me concealer this one is a lot better i've grown out of this concealer this was my first ever concealer that i ever used sentiment attached to it great concealer if you're just starting out and you don't know which concealer to buy k beauty concealer This is the only concealer used up, and I will buy it again. It is hydrating under the eyes, and that's what I like in concealers. I just love how this looks. They say replace your mascara every three months. I don't know who's doing it or who's not, but I'm not doing it. I don't think so. I've ever done it. They dry out, and that's the time when I know it's time to let go. The the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I don't know what went wrong with the packaging. This is a mascara I had really high hopes with, but unfortunately, it I found this to be the average. The regular mascara. This is like a high-end mascara that's really expensive, and thank God I bought the mini. Did but did not work out for me. Drugstore mascaras that are affordable work equally good, if not better. And then I have the Red Beauty mascara, but this mascara is something that I've loved through and through. Hardly anything comes out now. I find very very few mascaras in the high-end category that are actually good and worth your money. So this one has to be one of it. Lip products, so. Let's first talk about this lip liner that I have used. Again, I've used this religiously. That's why I could finish it up. It Navi is a very nice purity nude, dusty pink in the shade mauve. This is the Mama Earth uh, Moisture Matte Long Stay Lipstick. Now, this is a formula that I really did enjoy using. I haven't used a lot of products from this brand. The color was so pretty. It has a very comfortable formula and it's long lasting and it's transfer proof. But the packaging is something that did not work for me. I'm gonna give this a pass. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Um, I use this sometimes whenever I feel like if you want to plump your lips a little bit. This is a good one. It has a tingling effect and makes your lips I feel like really 
pink i have another gloss this makes me so sad because this was my favorite and is still one of my favorite glosses ever it's the elf plumping gloss and the amount of compliments and every time i get asked what are you wearing on your lips i can see r par through this tube so i pretty much use this i can still show you the shade though that's the shade a beautiful brown tingles the lips a little bit but the shine that this gives face gloss 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 the shade that i have is sizzling now this comes in a you packaging like this which is this click you have to click it from here and then you have to roll it the formula of this was as far as i can remember because i finished this a long time back it's very thin i remember getting absorbed into my lips really quickly the minute i apply it there is no chance of it being sticky like a lightweight lip oil I have better glosses but i wouldn't mind trying other shades from this i think this video might have 2 hours worth of clip i've been talking for 2 hours straight that is it for today's video let me know if you let me know if you liked watching this thank you so much for watching if you're still watching leave this emoji in the comments i love to know about your existence i'll see you in my next one very soon